The remnants of Typhoon Yagi have brought heavy rain to southern China's Guangxi region, that borders Vietnam, and the southwestern province of Yunnan, leaving cities and towns deluged and roads cut off, state broadcaster CCTV said. In the city of Nanning, in Guangxi, heavy rain caused by the storm and water from upstream areas have swollen the Yu River. A pier and shops in a low-lying waterfront area have been flooded and submerged, CCTV footage showed. 93 ferry crossings in the city were suspended, and more than 20 construction sites temporarily closed, as the river's level continued to rise, CCTV reported. Elsewhere in Guangxi, heavy rain over the past two days has led to landslides along several sections of road in Fangchenggang City, cutting off traffic. Debris from five landslides had been cleared as of Tuesday afternoon, CCTV said. Heavy rain also hit various locations in Yunnan province in the country's southwest, damaging roads and forcing residents from flooded homes. In Mohun town, nine residents were stranded on a rooftop and surrounded by floodwater before rescuers moved them to safety. Some residents in Hiku County were also trapped after heavy rain flooded their apartment buildings. In Wenshan Prefecture, several sections of road were damaged. No casualties have been reported in Guangxi or Yunnan. Earlier authorities said the typhoon had left four people dead and nearly 100 injured in Hainan province, where it first made landfall in China. Uh 广西整个在左右江流域呢还有视频中可以看到在防城区城区前往洞中镇的途中有多处路段出现滑坡路面上堆积大量淤泥和树枝覆盖了整幅路面车辆无法通行现行发生后防城区相关部门迅速行动抵
The Pokrovsk direction came as a surprise, admitted a tank commander from the 93rd Mechanized Brigade of Ukraine. The 12th Azov Brigade of the National Guard of Ukraine also announced its presence in New York City near Pokrovsk. When the brigade was deployed in this area, the situation on the front line was catastrophic. Despite intense fighting, our soldiers are holding the line. As battlefield maps show, the Russian advance on Pokrovsk was halted a week ago near the town of Selidovo. But the Russian advance continued south, where the Russian army has all but encircled the Ukrainian-held territory between the towns of Pokrovsk and Kurokovo. Recall that, as Forbes wrote, Ukrainian troops are counter-attacking in several sectors along the Eastern Front. It was noted that the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine was able to form a reserve detachment of about five brigades, in particular by involving the National Guard forces. It was noted that last year the National Guard of Ukraine expanded and strengthened several of its brigades, uniting them into a so-called offensive guard that includes the 12th Azov Brigade as well as the Karadag Brigade, which recently took up positions south of Pokrovsk and quickly counter-attacked. Now the capture of the city by the Russians no longer seems inevitable. It was noted that the high terrain in Pokrovsk and its environs encourages the attacking forces to head towards the lower southern approaches to the city. This also directs them towards Selidovo.